Our second new ebook option that we're offering is called BiblioBoard, and some people might recognize this as a site that hosts the library's historical collections online. And it is, in addition to having ebooks, it has a lot of historical materials, um, a lot of primary sources. It's actually really great for research as well. But now we also have ebooks on BiblioBoard, and this is really the place to look if you're looking for graphic novels. If you're looking for something that's self-published or independently published, there's a lot of that kind of content. Um, and if you're looking for sort of more niche or specialized content, BiblioBoard, for example, has a lot of books from the Four Dummies series available um, through this service. We're suggesting that you use this from your computer for now. Um, it doesn't really have the best mobile interface. And although you can download some things from it, if you create an optional account, um, generally, to be able to read things, you will need an internet connection active. To get to BiblioBoard, you're going to start again from our homepage, hopkintonlibrary.org. And this time you're going to go to Do Research. And it's right there, most of the way down the page. It's going to think about it. Now the great thing about BiblioBoard is you can create an account, but you don't have to. You don't have to log in. Uh, this is geolocated, which means if you're accessing it from anywhere in Massachusetts, it will just let you right into it without having to sign in or prove you have a library card or anything like that. So when you come in, there's a couple of ways you can find books specifically. If you use the advanced search here, You can choose content type book. So let's find a graphic novel. Let's find Black Beetle. And it's going to give us several suggestions. Um, but one of the things it's going to give us is the Black Beetle. So we can just say read this. It's going to think about it. And here it is right in the viewer. You can zoom out so you can see the whole page at once. And you can page through. You can jump around, page to page. Uh, and it looks pretty good. They do a good job if, you're, if you like graphic novels um, with making these look really nice. Now the other way to find books, if you're really more interested in browsing, is to use the Browse By feature up here. And you want to browse by modules. And what this lets you do, it lets you browse all the different publishers or sources of content on BiblioBoard. And you know, you're going to see some things that are not necessarily ebooks. Um, but for instance, here's some of our independently published, uh, e uh, self published ebooks. And where I'm going to go is all the way down to the Wileys for Dummies. Um, so when you go into a module, you kind of go from a bigger division into a smaller division. So you're going to have to navigate down a little bit to, to find the right uh, book you're looking for. So we can go into Computers for Dummies. And now here's a variety of different topics that they have within the Computers section. So let's find Computer Programs. And now it's going to be showing us a, a bunch of different books that we can um, see here. Let's try Office 365 for dummies. So again, we just click read this and it thinks. And there's the book. We can go right into the table of contents and click on something to jump. Just going to take a moment. There we go. So you can page right through the book here, do all your reading. Um, it's a really great resource, especially for these kinds of um, more specialized or unusual things you might be looking for. And I do advise browsing BiblioBoard to find out exactly what's in there, because sometimes searching it, you may not find precisely what it is you're after. But you can often find something similar. So we're very pleased to be able to offer both of these new resources, Access 360 and BiblioBoard. We hope you'll try them out. And as always, if you have any questions, if something's not working for you, please don't hesitate to stop in or to call us or email us. We're always happy to help. We'd love to help you take advantage of these new resources. And we hope you do and you enjoy them. Thanks very much.